Welcome to the design analysis video of the Lynx Aventur, a beautiful Jaguar-based coach-built car. The automotive world is focusing on a new body type. It is sleek, sporty and elegant. The shooting brake is back. Before we dive into this beautiful car, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel as it helps us grow in Niels van Roy design. The Luxury Grand Tourer XJS was produced by Jaguar from 1975 up until 1996. It replaced the super legendary E-Type or XKE in the States using the Jaguar XJ sedan floor plan. Jaguar's timing was not exactly ideal. The XJS was launched right in the middle of the fuel crisis. So with its 5.3 liter V12, the Grand Tour couldn't exactly count on many takers. The styling was also heavily criticized, arguably because the E-Type was just an irreplaceable car. The XJS had several design and engineering updates, including the addition of chrome strips on the bumpers. The most noticeable change was the completely newly shaped blacked out tail lights. In May 91, its second and largest overall took place and the car was named XJS instead of XJS. The rear side windows appeared enlarged but were placed over the existing window aperture, effectively only changing the outside graphic. Large shield bumpers took the car into the 1990s. Fortunately, the buttresses stayed. According to Jaguar's then chief designer G. of Lawson, they were part of the XJS's character. And he was absolutely right about that. A number of XJS's were modified by coach builder Lynx to create this elegant Aventur, a three door shooting brake. Lynx engineering started in 1973, building high end replicas of the Jaguar C and D types just outside of Sussex in England. The company decided to branch out into coach building based upon then modern cars. A customer bringing an XJ6 to be converted into a convertible took links into the drop top conversion market. The Jaguar XJS in 1975 only came as a coupe and thus presented a perfect base for a four seater convertible conversion. Unfortunately, a Jaguar rather rapidly put an end to the successful XJS converting business. Even though Jaguar's convertible XJS, which eventually did come out in the late 80s, set just two instead of four people. After Lynx was stopped by Jaguar making convertible conversions, the company decided to transform Jaguar's XJS into a shooting brake instead. One of the most British body types imaginable. The first Aventur was unveiled in August 82 at Browns Lane during the Jaguar factory open days. Sir John Agan, chief executive and chairman of Jaguar cars from 1980 up until 1990, looked at it with disregard, but the press praised both design and conversion quality of the Lynx. And it has to be said, the XJS does look extremely natural in its bespoke, tailored Aventur suit. Each shooting brake conversion took Lynx about 14 weeks to complete. They cut off most of the bodywork, moved the fuel tank and even created a flat floor. They also stiffened up the suspension, compensating for a changed center of gravity. Bespoke side windows were also specifically made for the shooting brake. The window of the rear hatch was actually not as costly and complex because it was simply borrowed from the Citroen GSA. Every Lynx Aventur features a sumptuous leather interior and allows for a comfortable 2 plus 2 seating arrangement or a very spacious 6 feet long loading area, ideal for long road trips. For a coach built vehicle, the total number of 67 examples sold was a truly great achievement. The Aventur on the homage sketch is actually based on a Celebration XJS model. 
This car is commemorating the 60th birthday of Jaguar, and it was one of the last XJSs and thus last Aventors ever to be made.